Hi, welcome to the Michigan Conservative Roundtable. I've got Mac on my right, I've got TJ on my left. Here's my question, where do we go from here? Um, we're being run by a Democrat, I believe communist organization, aided by our current Republican Party. Swamp rats. Um, yep. Who are bending over and taking it, as I like to say. Mm -hmm. So where do we as everyday citizens and what do we do? Where do we go from here? <clears throat> um, there's a lot of different organizations that we can go to and I don't think sitting quietly and taking it is the answer. I, I firmly believe that we still have to speak up and speak our minds and not be in fear of our government because the Democrats, that's what they want us to do. They want us to have fear. They don't want Absolutely. us to speak up. They want us to sit quietly and do what they say. And I, for one, can't do that. Uh, and I'm not going to do that. Um, and I know in Texas, um, the Texas secession movement is a big thing. Um, it's flying right now. There are several organizations that are spearheading that movement, and it is really, really flying. Um, I think we're going to hear a lot more about that in Texas. Um, the Tea Party here in Michigan is starting to fly. Okay. I'm hearing a lot about the Tea Party movement in Michigan. You know, we haven't heard from the Tea Party for a while. Well, it's been basically a philosophy up to this point and not an actual party. Yeah. Um, I am hearing rumors that there may be another third party going to be stepping up yeah. called the Patriot Party. Yep. Um, so I think there's going to be some options for us, you know, and some of the things that we need to work on definitely is going to be voter integrity. I mean, that's something that we cannot sit. I'm right. worried that ship may have sailed, given the fact that they're in charge of everything. Um, we definitely have to leave in droves and let it be known that we're leaving. To the Republican Party. And will not support the Republican Party any further. I mean, I don't know who's got the money to do, but run commercials saying, here's McConnell stabbing us in the back. Here's Lindsey Graham stabbing us in the back. Here's Dan Crenshaw, a guy we've supported on this show, stabbing us in the back. And for what reason? Mm -hmm. What's yeah. their reason? It, it's beyond logic. Mitch McConnell has to be one of the most dishonest men on the face of the earth. If he can vote for impeachment because he said the president in his speech incited violence. No rational person can listen to that speech and come up with, he cited and it started an insurgency. Come on. Where is go walk in peace Yeah. violence? Yeah. Well, he should have never invited them to D.C. I'm sorry. We have the right to protest as much as BLM. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, you, um, but here's the thing, though, and, and, and we, we've mentioned this before, that you know, they, they brought in all those troops because, uh, well, they just they just weren't going to let us. That was a big show. Was yeah, all that, was that, a, was. that was a planned that event. That was a big show. Yeah. And I got a question. What was Pelosi's uh, son-in-law doing down there? I don't know. I didn't know that he was there. Yes, he was I didn't there. Know that. Yeah. Yes, he was. I, the, the talk was, well, he was just there reporting on it. Yeah. Yeah, right. You think we're all stupid enough to really believe that? Well, they do. <laughs> no, we're not. Uh, you you brought up the uh, the the, uh, uh, the thought of the possibility of you know and we're, and Texas is the easy example. Uh, there's other states that seem to want to get on board with Texas, and you brought up secession, and and there could be there could be something that uh, might be employed prior to that step, and that is the sanctuary zones. All right, and and back but years ago when you know when President Trump was in office. You had, and in San Francisco, for me, is the easy one. There's others, you know. You could, virtually any large city ha had made themselves a, a, a sanctuary city in regards to illegal aliens. But, and, and, and we said it back then, that we didn't, we didn't uh, uh, approve of, of, of that kind of activity, whether it be the Democrat or Republican. But now I feel like they haven't given us uh, any other option and I'm applying th this to the Second Amendment you know what if you guys could do sanctuary cities for illegal immigrants then why can't cities or even state states have Second Amendment sanctuaries you know I or mean, any any other law we don't or want any to other law and right. you know what you establish your sanctuary and if the federal government uh, makes makes the move first 
th then maybe then the Civil War does begin. There are you know? starting to be sanctuary cities for the unborn currently. In Texas, there are numerous sanctuary cities for the unborn where abortion clinics are not allowed to go into those areas. I believe one of the they executive orders that uh, uh, nowhere man, uh, Biden, because he doesn't know where the hell he is half the time, uh, signed that said we're going to pay for abortions overseas. Yeah. How does that benefit America? It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't. You know, he, he got off the track there a little yeah, bit. But but he, yeah, but there are sanctuary cities. Anyhow, Big Spring, Texas is one of those sanctuary yeah. cities for the okay. unborn currently. Yeah. And there's numerous other ones in the state of Texas. So they are starting to have some sanctuary cities. And, for and, certain and years, and if you, like, I'll say, like, when we first started this YouTube channel, we did say that we had reservations about employing that tactic. But at, at the same time, you know, they, they, you know, when you're painted into a corner or when you're backed into a corner, what else are you to do? And I feel like there, there are two choices: fight or or surrender. And and uh, yeah, and and you know and the thing sucks. is, is I don't support the violence end of it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But there are ways of us safely, I mean, and non-violently doing some things to. To further our beliefs. Well, I do and believe. And we have to. We have to. What what we saw in Washington, and, and this goes to what you're saying mm -hmm. now, is Antifa and agitators. I, I think they. Well, I was never a Black Lives Matter guy, but I, I always thought that it was based on a false premise that the police are out hunting black people. Well, if they were hunting food the way they hunt black people, they'd be pretty damn hungry. Uh, it's just nonsense, and it's a false narrative. But I do believe the Antifa agitators joined in on their protests and created violence. And everywhere you see violence, you will find two, two factions, Black Lives Matter and, and Antifa. Antifa. Or Antifa claiming to be Black Lives Matter. And what happened at the uh, Capitol was, was the Antifa, thing. Black Lives Matter, saying they were Trump supporters. And they were the same thing. Yeah. And, 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 you know, they're still not happy because now they're attacking, uh, I want to say, in Portland. They're in Portland, they're, they're, again. They were attacking the DNC office there in the, in the city of Portland. So so they're just uh, they're, they're just miscreants that are never satisfied. No. You know? They want they total want, anarchy. Yeah, they, you know what? They're anarchists. Yes. Yeah. Is what, yes. What it, what it becomes. So. But they are the left wing of the Democratic Party. Well, yeah. this is where the left starts eating their own. Yeah. Yeah, and we're going to see that. I mean, cause well, they want that leap you're talking about from socialism to communism. Right, right, right. So, um, but you know, there are places to go, and the answer is not to sit quietly in fear, because that is what the Democratic Party wants us to do: is right. sit quietly in fear, and and just take it. I mean, they're telling us, it. sit down, shut up. You yeah. don't count. They're saying, we're going to come get you. We're going to put yeah. you in re-education camps if you speak out. Yeah, we need to be deprogrammed as, as one of the uh, right. Democrat, uh, you know, it's either someone in the House or in the Senate, I forget who exactly. So. Yeah, so, you know, that, that's not the answer. That's not the answer to sit quietly. And we, we still have to be able to have the right to speak. At this time, we still have the freedom of speech and we need to use it. Right. So. I'm not sure we really do because they can censor us. You can get fired from your job for saying something that's not popular. Uh, I don't know that we've had free speech in the literal sense in this country for quite a while. The Constitution guarantees all speech to be free unless it presents a clear and present danger to the Constitu uh, to the public in general. Okay. And, and one of the examples is, for instance, you can get in a boatload of trouble if you stand up in a movie theater and yell fire. Because it causes a stampede, okay. potentially, and people get hurt. Uh, where, 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 where it takes a perverse turn is, well, when you talk like that, you are saying fire. Well, yeah, or, you know, if you go into a store and say, um, excuse me, ma'am, I'm not a ma'am, I'm a sir. Now you've you know, misidentified me, and you don't have a right to say that. I'm binary. Well, there is no... I always suspected that, actually. But <laughs> they, there's no clear and present danger to the public, the general public, in that statement. Yeah. It's or not. you might even say, I don't believe you're a man or a woman or whatever you claim you are. Doesn't present a clear and present danger to the general public. So it's free speech. Well, currently, on a lot of social 
platforms, the only people that have free speech are liberals. Right, the haters. <laughs> you know, yeah. the liberals. So, I mean, right. so, but the thing is, is that um, I'm going to speak as long as I can speak. Yeah. And, and I hope that all of you out there will too. That's why we're, that's why we have this channel for this purpose. To let the average guy know, hey, you're not the only one who thinks this. Uh, like I said, we don't we don't claim to no. speak for all conservatives. Clearly, we don't. I mean, we misspell a word in our title. Uh, <laughs> you don't deserve to be heard from because of that. So that's a Mac rant. Yes, <laughs> mini mini Mac rant. Mini Mac rant. Okay. All right. I'm, I'm all Anything set. else? Nope. I'm good. Okay. So, as we like to say on the Michigan Conservative Roundtable, be safe. Watch your six. And don't tread on me. All right.